Hi! In this video, I will show you 5 places that you can visit in just one day here in Kyoto, Higashiyama, without spending money. We will go to Kama River, Ishebe Koji, a Taiyaki store, Ichinenzaka, Ninenzaka, and Sanenzaka, and Kiyumisudera. You can use the timestamps in the description below to skip to the parts you want to see. Alright, let's go! We were walking from the Shiki Market, and this is how the rest of the day went. But this downtown view? It's the center where all the shops are. Oh! Lovely. And there's a river. Lovely river on the left. <laughs> One we have to Whoa! This is Shijo Ohashi Bridge, which runs on top of Kamo River. The river banks are popular walking spots for tourists. In summer, restaurants open balconies looking out to Kamo River. There are stepping stones that visitors can use to cross the river. I'm sure it would have been fun to try. <laughs> this next thing is something very unique to Japan. Why are you bored? That's right, you can legally drive a cart around the streets of Kyoto wearing your favorite character. You only need an international driver's license to enjoy this extraordinary experience. Check out Street Cart Kyoto in the description below. Various shops are lined up here along Shijo Street. Anything that heals Japanese culture like snacks, souvenirs, restaurants, you name it, you can find in Shijo Dori. Kimono or Yukata are Japan's traditional costumes. If you dream for a nice picture in kimono, you can rent one from the many kimono rental shops in Kyoto. Kondo. Mari Kondo. Just... Shijo Street is crowded because of the many incredible sights around the Higashiyama Ward. The deer's some proper manners. It's not just bowing, it's not just bowing, it's the proper manner. You have to stop biting, you know? Hmm? You wanna skip the shrine? Yeah, this is this the shrine? Let's skip the shrine. I've seen a lot of shrines already. <laughs> Every here and there, Japan has shrines. Where are we going next? Temple Zah! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> this street is called Ishibe Koji, and it is a truly special one as it is top secret. It is so secret that you won't even see reviews about it or its English translation in Google Maps. We did not plan to go here at all. We luckily just happened to pass by, but anybody can walk here. I cannot show you what it looks like as you'll learn in a bit, but I can tell you about it. If you want to be immersed in Japanese culture, this is a place you definitely must not miss. In here are old traditional Japanese houses, which Japan preserves. Can you believe that these are made from a hundred years ago? The architecture of all the houses is outstanding. Just by looking at them, you can tell that they are all very well built. Walking here made me feel like traveling back in time. 
like a Minaruroni Kenshin scene, when the setting is in the 1920s. So, if you wanna see what Japan looked like in the Showa era, definitely check it out. I've put a maps link to this location in the description. Be aware though that local residents actually live here, so we must respect their privacy for them to keep living a peaceful life here, and also to preserve the beauty of the old buildings. They are keep quiet and not allowed to film signs all throughout this street, and on the gates of all of the houses. There are CCTVs everywhere as well. If you are caught filming even for one split second, expect jail time right away. So don't even dare raise that camera however tempting it may be. You've been warned. I just screenshot this picture from Google Maps. And this is actually the entrance to Ishibe Koji Alley. I guarantee you, it is definitely worth going here. This street just looks so magical. The end of the road will lead you to Nene no Michi. Try this restaurant out. That's it, we fell for it. We're getting the coconut pineapple. Then let's go, baby. We have to enter. Hey, before you think rude or disrespectful thoughts, I excuse myself with hand signals. It's very small. This establishment offers taiyaki, which is a fish-shaped waffle, usually filled with sweetened red bean paste. It's a popular Japanese snack. The shop's name is Koyaki by Fukumimi. It's half the size. Got it. They also offer taiyaki in custard flavor, and they have other kinds of snacks too, like soft ice cream and waffle bowls. Maps link to this store is in the description. Hi, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You ate a lot. Is it good? Custard. It's more custard than pineapple. It doesn't adjust it. It's the focus. For a unique tour around Kyoto, you can try booking Ebisuya rickshaw or hail them here at Nene no Michi. Why do they walk only with boxers? <laughs> they will take you around places in Higashiyama Ward like the ones I'm showing you now. We find it quite funny that they go around in very short shorts during the summer. <laughs> <sighs> A little more walk led us to Ichinenzaka, then Ninenzaka, then Sanenzaka. It's a stone paved street which are also lined up with traditional buildings, shops, cafes, and inns. It's a perfect spot to stroll and chill. Ichinenzaka is the shortest among the three, while Sanenzaka is the longest. The words translate to one year hill, two year hill, and three year hill. While walking, we found a corgi and a cat who suddenly became stars of the street. Everybody was just staring at them. They were such good boys.
Christian craved for a snack and bought a croquette from a shop. He said it was quite delicious. Let me see. What is this? Croquette. No, what? Chicken? Cobra beef. A shop before the stairs is selling a variety of cat figurines. All were cute and realistic. Kawaii! <laughs> Yes, there are stairs at the end of the street. Very exhausting. So ensure a good rest the night before your tour. At the end of the stairs, you will reach Kiyomizodera. It's a Buddhist temple and is also a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It has a great viewing deck at the top. Shame that we didn't get to see it. Our feet hurt from all that walking. By the way, we used Google Maps and GPS so we know where we are when traveling. Group tours can also be booked, like this guide holding a flag. But it's definitely cheaper and more fun to make your own schedule. Uh, just leave me at Mother Farm. <laughs> Here is a bonus place since you stayed this far. On this unnamed road, there are almost no tourists around. At the end is Otani Hombyo, which is a quiet Buddhist temple set in a peaceful garden with bonsai trees, cherry blossoms, and a quaint bridge. With that, our tour ends as we walk back to Stay Sakura Hotel, passing by Minami Hashizume Bridge. Here are a few clips on the next episode, where we went to Kyoto Imperial Palace. Please help me reach 100 subscribers by August. I know what you're thinking, such a lazy goal, ugh. But yeah, if you like this video, come on, subscribe and like down below. If you have a question, let's talk in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching, see you on the next one!